Hello friends and enemies and kind mothers. Today I'm going to read from the book How to Understand the Mind by Geshe Kelsen Gyatso. What is our mind? I don't know. Is it our brain? Consciousness? I think, therefore, I am. Is our mind what I am? What it, it's not non-physical stuff, right? Okay. Let's find out. Let's read. What is our mind? What is our mind? We often say, my mind, my mind. But if someone were to ask us, what is your mind? we would have no correct answer. This is because we do not understand the nature and function of the mind correctly. The nature of the mind is clarity, which means it is something that is empty like space always lacking form, shape, and color. The mind is not actual space because produced space possesses shape and color. During the day, it can be light, and during the night, it can be dark. But mind never possesses shape and color. As I said, the mind is empty, but we should not say the mind is emptiness. What is the difference between empty and emptiness? In Buddhism, emptiness has great meaning. It is the real nature of things and is very profound. and is a very profound and meaningful object. If we realize emptiness directly, we will attain permanent liberation from all the sufferings of this life and countless future lives. There is no greater meaning than this. So emptiness is a very meaningful object, but an empty is just empty. It has no special meaning. Therefore, we have to say that the mind is empty, which means it always lacks form, shape, and color. And we have to say that space is empty, which means it lacks obstructive contact. When we say, my purse is empty, this means there is no money inside it. Through this, we understand that different empties have different meanings. The function of the mind is to perceive or understand objects. We normally say, I see such and such. This is because our mind sees that object. Because our mind understands things, we say, I understand. So our perception and understanding are functions of our mind. Without mind, we are powerless to perceive and understand objects. Also, one of the main functions of the mind is inputting things. Im. Huh. Im. 
imputing things, not inputting, imputing. In m with an m, imputing with only one t. So one of the main functions of the mind is imputing things. Wait a minute, what does imputing mean? Shit, what's wrong with this? Oh, there it is. Impute, represent something, especially something undesirable is being done caused or possessed by somebody by I mean by someone At, attribute the crimes view full definition well wow. okay so in finance you assign a value to something by inference from the value of the products or processes to which it contributes as in the adjective imputed which is recovering the initial outlay plus imputed interest oh, well that's uh, totally different maybe it's the definition we should look for is is the one for theology theology impute ascribe righteousness guilt etc oh ascribe to someone by virtue of a similar quality in another Hmm. Christ's righteousness has in has been imputed to us. Okay. Origin: Late Middle English from Old French, imputer from Latin imputare. Enter in the account. From in. Toward, putare reckon. Mm. Derivatives, impu imputable, imputation. What does IPA mean? In impute? Oh, maybe that's how you pronounce it. Oh, wait a minute. Something in there. Let me see that again. About Jesus. Christ's righteousness has been imputed to us. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Christ's righteousness has been imputed to us. Let's see. Oh.
ですね。Is imputation taught in Romans 4? Imputation. Righteousness imputed. What does that mean?、Mm. I don't know. Righteousness imputed. We all have broken God's law. No one can say he is not a sinner until, someone, until some means is provided not to take away the law, but to remove the sin, which is the tran transgression of the law. Jesus' sacrifice payment takes, removes our sin. Jesus' sacrifice takes our sin. Jesus' payment removes our sin. Once our sins have been removed, there is no transgression of the law. Holy. There is no transgression of the law. What does transgression of the law mean? Transgression of the law. 